Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back in the Flooded World, and today we're going to be looking at another variety of Flooded World-themed creations, whether it be boats, planes, sea life, shacks, structures, anything like that. But uh, before we get into that, I asked you last week to help name a couple of the islands. And the first island I wanted you to name was uh, that one over there. You can actually see some of like the shacks and stuff on it. And the other one I wanted your name was um, that one right there. It has like the survivalist kind of bases and stuff on it. So I went to the YouTube comments to see what you guys have come up with and uh, here's what the results are. All right, so scrolling down in the comments here, one of the top comments was uh, this one here. And I'm gonna choose one of the names from this comment and that name is going to be Scrapville for the kind of shack based town. I think Scrapville kind of works good for that. And then down here, the second comment has a good name for the survivalist area, which is Mount Everlast. And I like that because it has like some mountainous kind of things on it too. So we're gonna go with Mount Everlast and Scrapville for those two islands. Now, there are a ton more islands in this world that are nameless. So if you want to, you can throw out random island names if you want into the comments. Maybe every episode or so, I'll choose just a couple to apply to some islands. Uh, you don't have to, you can just throw out random names, or if you think a name should go towards a specific island, you can try your best to describe to me which island you meant for, because, uh, there's a lot of different islands, and, um, I don't know how you can describe some of them, to be honest. I mean, obviously we have, like, the Yin Yang Island over here, and we have this, like, Spiral Island over here, and there's, like, a Volcano Island and stuff, and there's this one. I don't know what you'd call this one, so yeah, throw some names out and maybe we'll start actually applying names that I'll end up forgetting because there's a lot of stuff to remember about this world. But let's get into the creations now. So I have no idea what we're gonna be looking at. I'll look at some of the more recent submissions first and then maybe scroll back into some other ones. Okay, so first up we have this crazy, this looks like a uh, Mount Everlast. This looks like a Mount Everlast style creation here. This is by Nightshade. So apparently the first thing that sprung into Nightshade's mind was a missile firing propeller powered dinghy. Makes sense to me, I suppose. So let's spawn this thing in. Now, does it actually fire missiles? And is that a giant propeller? Oh, I think that is. Oh boy, we did not spawn this in a very good way at all. Here, let's just um, let's just put it down on the ocean floor right here and see if it can load us on back up. Oh, there we go. Let's hop in a seat. All right. Oh, well, this thing sits on the water pretty nice. So this is a battle dinghy if I've ever seen one. Missiles, really? Man, these survivalists are uh, they're getting a little bit intense. They're gonna be building an empire in the new world. Look, look at this engine. This thing is really cool. All right, well, let's see how this thing works. Uh, looks like this is the driver's seat. All right, let's start pressing it. Well, does, okay, there's WASD. I'm assuming one, number one. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome right there. All right, let's try out some other buttons here. Turn it off for a little bit. Number two. All right, we got the spud guns on the front. Number three. Whoops! <laughs> Don't quite think that's how that was supposed to work. Uh, let's see if the other one works any better. Number four. Whoa! There we go. Okay, that's lost. We'll find that somewhere, but uh, at least we can we can take this one. We just delete that on the bottom of the ocean here. Nice looking, nice looking torpedo, by the way. All right. Well, that was all the buttons. So let's actually drive this thing around. Let's drive it to. Whoa! Let's drive it to the, uh, whoa, boy, to the survivalist island, or got, I gotta call it by the names now, to, uh, Mount Everlast, and we'll park it over there. Oh, boy, this thing, the turning while the propeller is spinning is a little bit wonky. I think the, uh, the torque from the propeller makes it, uh, want to tilt a little bit more than usual. Oh, look at the pirates. Look at those pirates. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, I can, uh-oh, we don't have any more turning. There we go. Nailed it. Actually, I think we have a dock somewhere on this island. So let's bring this thing over to the dock. I think this thing would look would look awesome parked over here. There we go. Now, is it going to fit? Oh, yeah. There's plenty of room over here. All right. So we'll just park this thing right over here. It could have done a better job, I think. Actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad if I do stay so myself. All right. So I'm actually going to weld this here using the invisible block. 
There we go. I think that's a pretty good weld point, so it should cause a lot less lag being a welded object. All right, let's take a look at something else by you guys. All right, up next, we have a scrap houseboat. So this could be like a standalone thing. Now, I'm getting worried as I spawn in more floating creations, the scripted mods, uh, I think th th how many of them are running or start to are starting to lower the performance of the frame rate. So hopefully this doesn't have too much an effect, but uh, we might start seeing that very soon. So this is a houseboat for the flooded world made out of scrap, wood, brick, tiles, etc. So perfect in the spirit of the scrap world. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh, it definitely, oh, I like cut the frames in half. Oh no. Oh no. All right, well, I still want to look at it anyway. We're just going to have to not keep these things in the world as much anymore. Oh, look at that. It seems to be floating perfectly. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can... Find, where's the end? Oh, here we go. We got a staircase going up. Nice metal staircase, too. I'm assuming... Oh! Interesting place for a door. Alright, there's a radio on in here. So, oh, there's a bunch of radios. Here, let's just turn that one off. Alright, so check it out. We got a fireplace right in the middle of it. Generates some heat. I'm assuming this is a bathroom. Yeah, nice little, like, shack-style bathroom. It's got all kinds of different things on here. We even got some radio towers, some satellites... We got some plant life, and let's hop in the driver's seat and see how this thing drives. Oh, wow, look at that. That's actually... It's got some decent speed. I didn't know how fast it was to expect it to be. But it's picking up even more speed now. Can we turn? I'm trying... I'm trying to turn. All right, it looks like there's actually supposed to be these for turning, but whoops. But their effect is just not enough. I noticed that too with um, the water mod is that the rudders don't seem to have a huge effect and with something this big like look how many thrusters he has to move this thing so with something this big the rudders just aren't gonna have that large of an effect so now we're going into danger territory where we got the pirates and we got the sea monsters and stuff so uh we might want to try to figure out how to spawn a creation that can get us out of here so let's see what we can find because this thing is not gonna cut it or right, i think i forgot to say that was by doodle tanky all right, this is actually something I was planning on spawning just yet, but I came across it and this thing looks amazing. This is called Survival Outpost by Philip For Real. And I think this thing is also supposed to float, so I just gotta, oh, I just gotta find a spot to put it. Oh boy, oh no. Oh, I wanna look at this thing so bad, but we have three frames. Like, I, I can't. I'm sorry, I just can't. Oh man, that is so unfortunate. We're starting to reach the limits of the flooded world, it seems like, with the scripted blocks. That's something that I didn't anticipate using scripted blocks was um, the compiling of the scripts and how that would affect lag. But just look at, I'm gonna zoom in here. I just wanna look at it. Like look, we got boats, boat parts, we got containers all over the place. Just all kinds of scavenged stuff in here. It looks like there's just a bunch of little, it's like a community, we got a fishing rod on the end you can see right there. Oh, I wish I could take a more detailed overview of this because you know it's even better when it's spawned in and not on a lift. Got a fire hydrant in the middle of it. We get like a fire hydrant. It looks like a water uh, tank there. We even got a little shop with an awning over it. Oh, this thing is super cool. Well, I'm sorry I, I couldn't have enough frames to spawn this thing in, but uh, I really, really like the way that this looks. All right, this is a clever idea here. So this is something that I think we're supposed to put on land. So we're gonna have to find a new island that is going to be like Whale Skeleton Island or something. So this is by Endermite. And this is a build it yourself skeleton whale, whale skeleton house. So it's got some furniture to put inside here. So we just gotta find an island to weld this thing on. All right, I'm gonna see if it'll fit on this darker looking island here. This looks like it might be fitting for a skeleton, but it's kind of small. And there's some stuff sticking up around, so I'm hoping, like, hmm, this might be actually kind of tough. Oh, it's got a dock out back. Hmm, all right, well, let's spawn it in. Let's see how big it is, first of all. All right, oh, that's awesome. It's actually, it's got bearings on it, so the tail isn't completely rigid. All right, so let's see. Looks like we got a TV, or is that a microwave? I think it's, I think it's a TV. It's got an antenna on it. I mean, you could probably turn a microwave into a TV if you're really clever. I mean, this guy is turning a whale carcass skeleton into a house, so... All right, so let's go ahead and detach the whale skeleton portion. Let's move it around the island, see if we can get it to fit. Oh. Oh, yes. This is totally gonna fit. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is cool. All right, let's just make sure we have, the, like, the optimal spot for it. 
I think that might, or can we fit it on that trail? Uh, it doesn't really line up very well with the grid here. But I think I kind of like this spot better. All right, I think that's what we're going to have to deal with. It's a little bit off the ground in some areas, but I think that's gonna be okay. This looks awesome. All right, let's start putting some furniture in it. Let's build ourselves our little house. All right, so we got all of our furniture pieces here. Let's go ahead and just delete this entire block and separate everything. All right, so everything should fit under here, right? I mean, we got like a chair. We can put the chairs at the table. Actually, it doesn't seem like the TV fits in here because of the antenna. The antenna makes it a little bit too tall, so... I'm actually gonna delete the antenna off the TV. Yeah, there we go. I think it's a TV. And then we can actually put the TV in here. All right, so there we have it. We got a whale skeleton with some furniture inside. We got our lounge chair in front of like the TV. And the, oh, the, the, oh, the T, oh, that's a lot of light. That is all, you gotta burn your eyes out staring at this thing for too long. And then we got our work desk or a reading desk or whatever our survivor is gonna do here. So let's take a fly up into the sky and see how this thing looks from a aerial view. All right, check that out. I think that looks awesome, actually. And I like how the mouth kind of opens up onto the, uh, the the lighter trail. So it looks like it's kind of the trail leads into the mouth there. I didn't really intend that, but it's a nice accident. All right, I think that thing looks awesome. Let's fly over to just let's go to the airport since it's nice and open and see what else we're going to be looking at today. Okay, up next, we have another cool thing to just add around the world. I'm not sure how exactly they're going to function or if they even do function or if they're, if they're just aesthetic. But a long time ago, I asked for um, proximity mines underwater. So these ones are pretty cool looking. They're made by the only Pleb Lord. And oh, these are actually a lot bigger than I thought. Okay, cool. It looks like these are just aesthetic. So I think that's actually a good thing. So you can see we got like a really beefy chain and that's an awesome looking chain, by the way. I really like that a lot. And then we got the mines there. We can uh, separate these and have different sized mines. So I think we should choose an area and just put a couple of, just weld a bunch of these down to the ground. Now, some of you did make explosive ones, but considering how laggy the world is already starting to get, I think non-functional mines that are just aesthetics are going to add the most to the world without, with, uh, while taking away the least. All right, so we need to actually find a spot to put these things, so I'm going to fly around, look for a nice flat open area underwater, and I'm thinking I'm finding one over here. All right, yeah, I'm thinking this area right here is nice and open. And this is the perfect spot to put some of these mines. All right, so I'm just gonna weld them in various places near the ground and we'll have, I'll put like maybe three or four sets of them down and then we'll see how it looks from a distance. I'm gonna put them in somewhat of a random, like I'm not even gonna look at which one's which. I'm just gonna kind of put them down all around here and hopefully it'll look good by the time we're done. All right, here we go. Now we have a mini proximity mine field under the ocean. I actually think that looks pretty intimidating from the surface here. So let's uh, let's look for a boat next and just just for the sake of getting the feel of like seeing the mines underneath our boat, let's uh, spawn one of those in and drive it around here. Even though there's no real threat, but I mean, look at it. It still looks intimidating. All right, check this thing out. I'm actually surprised I haven't looked at this yet. This is, I think, an older one. This is a jet ski by Vemos. All right, let's see how this thing works. Does it go? Oh, there it is, way down there. I forgot about that. All right, okay. All right, well, that's good. It didn't flip over. Well, there's no buttons, so I guess we just go. And would you look at that? This thing works great. It's also very quiet. I'm not hearing anything. But uh, check out the proximity minefield now. I think it's actually looking pretty good. I mean, I guess thinking about it, a jet ski would probably be like the best water vehicle or ocean vehicle to have if you need to navigate a minefield like this. I mean, you really you don't take up a lot of space. You have a lot of agility and so on. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good choice. And it's starting to rock, it's starting to rock quite a bit. Uh oh. Right, I think it's just, I think that's permanent. This is a very, you can't, you can't really look angry on this thing. You, you cannot look angry driving this thing. Look at that. He looks so happy. We have the happiest music playing right now. This guy is enjoying life so much. Oh, I love it. It's the happiest dwarf you've ever seen. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh, he's not happy anymore. He's not, hold on, hold on. We need to get the happy back. We must get the happy back. All right, where is it? We're, we're almost there. Nope, not quite. All right, there it is. There's the happy. There's the happy. Uh, leave a like for happy dwarf. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's hilarious. I don't want I don't know why I like that so much. All right, I don't know what we're gonna be looking at next. Let's figure it out. All right, when I was typing in whale to find this thing, I actually remember coming across this, Earl the Whale. I don't think we looked at Earl the Whale. I'm sorry if we did. We've looked at so many creations. Sometimes it's hard to remember what we have and haven't. We definitely looked at this one before. He actually might still be lost somewhere on the world. I don't remember. I think we deleted them though. Let's check out Earl the Whale. This is by Sometimes It's Not Minecraft. Apparently this is a drive. Okay, there it goes, the frames. Wow, this thing's actually kind of big. Yeah, we definitely have, oh, look at the tail. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, this thing just looks cool on its own. All right, we have, it's not three frames. We have 11 frames right now. So I'm gonna try to tolerate, I'm gonna try to tolerate the 11 frames just to take a look at this whale. Oh, look at this. There we go. All right, we are in the belly of the whale. Probably should have put this thing in the water before I got in the seat, huh? Oh, look at it go. That is awesome. All right, I was hoping we'd be able to like nudge ourselves forward into the water, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. All right, uh, whoops, what button is it? Seven? There we go, look at it go. It's majestic. Even with the 10 frames, this thing is still Pretty majestic. Can we turn too? Yeah, it looks like we're turning. Oh, and the tail. The tail is awesome. That is an awesome whale tail. Oh, I think we can... Uh oh. Alright, so there's some roll. Alright, we do have other controls. Okay, cool. Now we're pitching ourselves back up. Alright. I like this. Can we... Can we breach? Can we breach? Ah! All right, that was pretty anticlimactic, wasn't it? All right, so I'm gonna have to get rid of some of the some of the lag here, or I'm gonna have to get rid of this thing. Oh, I just realized that's the water, that's the blowhole spout. We can spout water out of our blowhole. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we're gonna delete this thing so we can have our frames back. And there we go, precious frames, precious frames. Okay, so I just wanna remind everyone to throw out some island names, uh, whatever name, whatever island you think would fit here. And uh, if you think it should be for a particular island, don't forget to leave those details. And I'll peruse the comments every so often, and maybe I'll pick some every episode or every other episode, uh, just to show some cool island names. And uh, we'll, I'll probably forget which ones I pick, because I'm already having trouble remembering. This is Scrapville. All right, we're in Scrapville right now. And then we've got Mount Everlast. Right? Did I get that right? I hope I didn't get that wrong. But anyway, we saw a lot of awesome creations today. We added a lot of stuff to the world. Look at the minefield over there. We got the whales somewhere way over there. And we looked at some cool vehicles as well. So let me know, what was your favorite part of this episode? Which creation did you like the best? Leave that in the comments down below. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.